In happier times, they called themselves brothers by another mother. Travis Mannion and Brendan Looney were roommates at the Naval Academy, but much closer than that. They just connected. I mean, they had such a strong friendship and such a bond to each other that it just, you know, you don't see that often. Brendan's wife Amy is talking through tears because the brothers are gone now. Travis, who joined the Marines, was shot by a sniper in Iraq three years ago. Brendan, who became a Navy SEAL, died in a helicopter crash in Afghanistan last month. But the bond between them is not broken. They now lie side by side in Arlington National Cemetery. I can't describe how just knowing that they're together there means everything to all of us. And I just, I feel <laughs> better, you know, when I go to bed at night knowing that they're together. Imagine what it's like for a young wife to see her husband come home from war in a flag-draped casket. It's not the homecoming that I wanted, <laughs> but I just, I just don't think I'll ever forget seeing him come off that plane. <laughs> in her inconsolable grief, Amy clung to one thought. That they had to be together. And I looked at her and I said, well, Travis is coming to Arlington so they can be together. Just like that, Travis's parents decided to move him from the family cemetery near Philadelphia to Arlington, even though it meant the agony of living through another funeral service. It brings up a lot of emotion, and I remember a lot. But I'll be at peace knowing that he's with his brother and, all, and together. I know that's where he wants to be. Janet Mannion wears her son's dog tag around her neck and carries Brendan's seal pin, which he gave to her shortly after Travis died. He w couldn't have done it without Travis by his side. So they, those were his exact words. And you carry it with you? I have it all the time in my handbag. Six months after Travis died, Brendan tried to express what Travis meant to him. I was lucky enough to room with Travis at the Naval Academy for two years. In a very short time, he became another brother to me. He was a great friend, and I'll forget him, and I'll miss him. Brendan knew what brothers are all about. He had two of his own. Both followed him to the Naval Academy, and their mother, Maureen, got to watch all three play on the lacrosse team in 2004. That was the year they played for the NCAA championship? Yes, they did. Yes. Boy, as a parent, that must have been living the dream. <laughs> it was awesome. Life was pretty awesome for Travis, too. This was how he escorted one of the bridesmaids at his sister's wedding. But then the dream ended, first for the Mannion family and then for the Loonies. Actually, Mrs. Mannion was like the first person I called because she was like Brendan's other mom. She said, I need your help. I need your help. And I said, I'm coming. What happened? I'm coming. And, and so the two mothers came together at Arlington. First for Travis, brought from Pennsylvania to his new resting place, and final goodbye from his father, Tom, himself a former Marine. God bless you, my son, and rest in peace with your warrior brothers. And then, right next to Travis, Brendan, a ceremony which ended with his fellow SEALs pounding their pins into the lid of his coffin. Travis Mannion and Brendan Looney, brothers forever, a bond stronger than death. David Martin, CBS News, Arlington National Cemetery.